So it's open the web, web page for me and uh, it's just going to be loading the, <coughs> the code for a few minutes. Meanwhile, um, we can actually, uh, you know, so since we are working on the React, which is a client side, we can still using the server side and database setting the same way as uh, the one in Angular. So let's grab the, the server side code to this uh, to this project. So we can just using the same server to test our application. Um, so let's grab the actually, yeah, let's grab it later. Let's uh, we we're, we're first first we'll only focus on the. Uh, the, the view part, and then we're going to think about how, how to grab the data to here. Oops, I'm getting an arrow. <laughs> oh, this is not, this is Hello React, no, I'm just opening the wrong one. Um, should be this one. This is the one we left off yesterday. Uh, <coughs> npm start. Let's open it. Take some time. So from terminal, you actually can see when I do the npm start, it's actually checking my uh, package JSON, and it knows when you're trying to do the npm start, it's going to do the React script start for you. So you can see there's the same uh, React script start, which is a command to start the uh, the React application, like the, the Angular one. Angular is a ng serve, right? So if you're trying to do the npm start in the in Angular project, it's going to do the ng serve for you. Almost there. This is our error page, and I should be able to get in the hello and update it. We're able to get in the, the goodbye. All right. So this is uh, what we have yesterday, and today we are going to uh, start using uh, React to make the the the, the web maker. So let's um, remove what we did yesterday. We don't need this this pages here. We're going to remove the all the components we have here. Let's remove the error JS. Remove the goodbye, remove the hello, remove the title. Right. So, and in app.js here, let's change the URL pass. We're going to start by making the, uh, the login page. All right. We're going to start doing by the, the login page. So in app.js, uh, we're going to firstly um, state the path of it. We're going to start with the login. Right. The path is login. And... Uh, the component is also going to be the logging component. And let's create our first component. 
again, uh, we want to make things organized, so uh, we ha still have the components folder. And in the components folder, I also want to create those smaller folders, like this, uh, the, the folder for the user, the folder for the website, folder for the page, and the folder for the widgets. Let's create even folders in the components folder. So user, and let's create more, and the website. Have the folder for the page, and the folder for the widgets. Right, so just folder names. Um, and in the user folder, we're going to start making the login, the compo login component. So it's going to be login.js. There's no uh, HTML files, right? Like everything right now is in the uh, JavaScript file, and it's using the new language called JSX. Um, so the way React works is like, um, what you need to write is just JSX, which combines HTML and uh, JavaScript. Once you compile your code, and uh, the, the, the React going to help you to, to translate your JSS code into the regular HTML and uh, JavaScript that the browser can understand. Right. That's not something not we, we, need to, we need to worry. We just need to write the, the, the code in the JSS index. Let's create the login.js file with a capital L. Right. So that's going to be our first component. Um, so let's start with RCC to create the boilerplate for this component. So what we need to return here is uh, the, the, the login page itself, right? This actually, we can grab the code we have for the, for the login component in the, uh, in, in the WebMaker we, we made before. So let's, let me actually grab the code for it. I have the WebMaker code here. Let's open this with code. Right, let's open the login HTML. This is my HTML code for the login page. Let's copy everything here. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to change something, but right now let's copy copy it over to the uh, reactor re re React project. Right. So in the in the return, we're going to return this this whole thing from the login. Let's return the whole thing. You see, like, there's a, many things marked with red color, which is have some arrow. I'm going to fix them one by one, right? So since we're not using the uh, Angular, we cannot use something like uh, ng, uh, ng submit. I'm going to remove that. Uh, this my form is ng form. We're going to remove it because we don't have the ng form anymore. And here, there's the ng if with arrow flank. Let's just uh, remove this, this for now. I'm going to write a new one. Soon, let's remove this ng if, and then same thing here. Ng model, we're gonna remove it because there's no ng model left. Same thing for the user input equals ng model. Can remove that, and for the input, you're gonna have a, 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 a slash to 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 uh, at the end of the of the tag. This is a uh, required by the JSX index. So remove the ng if the input is touched. That's not exist anymore. Same thing here. Gonna remove the ng model. Like uh, basically remove all the red parts. And uh, this one we're gonna have a close. We'll have a a forward slash to close the attack. Ng if remove that. I have removed the disable. Um, yeah, looks correct right now. Let's see if we can uh, show that page. Uh, don't forget, you need to also uh, import the login into your app.js, right? We're going to import it. Let's remove this uh, this 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 uh, import import for now. Going to import the the login from the slash components slash uh, user and slash login, right, import the login component. And right now, I think there's no any error showing in the terminal. Uh, let's try to try to see how, how it looks like. Going to be local 3000, 30, 30, 30, and with a login, slash login. This is my login page. And if I open my uh, console, 
So you see, we're still getting many errors here. Let's fix it one by one, right? So first one is saying, um, invent in the DOM property class. Did you mean did you mean class name? So that means we cannot use class in our HTML code. So we're gonna transfer the class into class name, All right? So let's change the class into class name. So the class here going to be class name. Let's change them one by one. And here it's going to be a class name and a class name and a class name. Let's change all the class into the class name. Right, let's fix uh, part of the errors. Let's reload the page. See what what, uh, what else we have here. Right, let's say React doesn't recognize the router link, so we're going to remove the router link for now. We're going to change it to link. Right, we'll change it to link later. But right now, let's just remove the router link. Right, remove that router link. Right, see what else we have here. Um, there's a still one class at line 38. 38. Here is class. Going to be class name. So there's another one, add line 41, here, as class name. You see the, the error message is actually very clear. The href attribute is required for an anchor, so uh, I, I created anchor here without the href. Don't, uh, we're going we're gonna to change that to link, so don't worry about that. So you see that our login page still looks uh, uh, almost the same, right? Still, still, still have the URL name, have the password. And but like the error message is showing at at all the time, we're, we're gonna fix that sh uh, soon. And also we have the uh, a link link to the register page. But right now it's not working because uh, we don't have register page right now, and we didn't uh, we didn't link them together. Um, right. Uh, let me stop here for a second. See if you can uh, follow with me to to copy your code. To the from the Angular project to make the same thing. <coughs> right. So what we need, what we did is just uh, we copied the the code from the Angular project or for the login, just directly to the to the return of the render function of the login component in the React. And we removed the like the ng model, the ng if, and removed the load some router link. And here we just we just transfer, easily transfer that into a React component. Uh, sure, I have a question. Mm -hmm. You need to firstly install the, the router. Gonna be React Router DOM. Yeah. You're gonna firstly install that package, and then uh, if you are trying to making a, a, a routing, it's just going to, you're gonna need, you need to uh, import the libraries like a, a, a router, route, and switch. And if you're trying to link two pages, you're gonna import the link and use the link tag to and with the attribute two to another page no, to together. Before this, we have to install the React Router DOM. React Router. Uh, what, what, what do you mean? We have to run, because for me it doesn't work, so I... Uh, yeah, you need to first do the npm install, install the React router down. Oh. Yeah. Because the React itself, it doesn't contain the routing part. That's an external library you have installed it again. Install it, uh, for each project? For each project, oh. yeah. Because the uh, React itself is just not uh, specifically for the single page application. You can use it without routing. But if you want to use routing, you're going to bring that. Right, let me know if you have any error. I'm going to stop here for uh, two minutes.